so um, I'm out shooting with sticks again. Today, we're going to be trying to... Actually, we're just out shooting for fun, but I figured this might be a good chance to talk to you guys a little bit about how I shoot my cinematic sequences. Now, I'm not saying that my way is the perfect way or even the best way, but I think it gets the job done, so I'm going to be using sticks as my, uh, my subject. So, let's go shoot. What's good creative fam, Brandon Washington here. And so like I said, we're gonna be taking a look at how I shoot my cinematic sequences. Now, if you're brand new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button because this channel is all about filmmaking gear, tips and tutorials. And so yeah, but before we can really jump into how I shoot my cinematic sequences, let's talk about what makes something cinematic. All right, so what makes something cinematic? Well. What I personally look at and think about when I think of cinematic shots is cinematic bars, uh, a color grade, slow motion, and some type of musical score. And this instantly makes your shot more cinematic, right? Well, yes and no. I don't know if those things are exactly what it takes to make your shot more cinematic because, I mean, I can take really crappy footage and do all those same things to it and it's still gonna look really crappy. See. The thing that makes something more cinematic is, well, replicating the styles that we see in the movies. I mean, I think that's what most of us think about when we think about a cinematic piece or a cinematic shots. For example, I know like a couple years ago, if you had drone footage, regardless to how good or bad that drone footage was in your video, it was considered cinematic. And the reason for that was because well, let's face it, most people didn't have that type of footage in their videos. And the only places we really saw it was, well, in the movies. Well, now, since drone footage has become so easily acceptable, I think less and less people are really shocked by it and wowed by it. So if we can't rely on the technology to help us get cinematic shots, and we can't rely on just throwing cinematic bars and actually doing a color grade and things like that to make our stuff more cinematic. Well, what can we do? Well, I've got five tips that I think are really gonna help out. So let's go ahead and jump into those tips. All right, so tip number one is to get clean shots. Now, what I mean by clean shots are shots that are easy for the audience to understand. Like whether you're shooting this on a tripod or on a gimbal, you wanna have some type of shot that's really clear I mean, the easiest way to make your shot not look cinematic is to make it look really amateurish, which, you know, shaky cam can be very amateur video. Now, sometimes it works, like I've seen it in movies where they use the shaky cam because they're trying to really tell the story that things are nuts right now. But for most videos, that doesn't really work. So tip number one, get a really clean shot. All right, so tip number two is to get connecting shots. So what I mean by connecting shots are when you're thinking of your cinematic sequence, you wanna get multiple shots that tell your story. So you wanna make sure that your shots literally connect. So this might mean having your subject do the same thing multiple times, but by having these connecting shots, you can cut them together to make it look like there were multiple cameras there getting that shot when really there was just one, you just had them do it multiple times. For tip number three, yeah, I'm on three now. For tip number three, we're talking about motion. Now, motion is something that you are gonna see basically in every cinematic movie, every movie really, period, because motion evokes emotion. So 
figure out a way to add some type of motion into your shots. Now again, you can do this on a tripod, you can do this on a gimbal, but it's important to add in some motion. Now there are some people who really love static locked off shots. And if that's gonna be what you choose to do, well, then you have to own it. But for most situations, it's good to add some type of motion in there, whether you're doing a reveal or you're doing some type of, you know, panning or staying with your subject or something like that. Adding just a little bit of motion can really take your video up to that next level to really make it come across as more cinematic. So just try it out. All right, so tip number four is pacing. Now, your pacing is everything. I mean, everything we've talked about up to this point is all going to be made or bro broken through the pacing of your film. Now, pacing has a lot to do with how you edit. Now, the easiest way to make sure that you don't mess this up is to edit to the beat of your song. If you have a really high, fast, upbeat type song, you want your edits to come in high and fast and upbeat. But if you have a more mellow, slow down, chill type song, then then your edits and your video clips can kind of be stretched out and last a little bit longer and that's gonna really help you out. Now, if you don't have any music or you don't have any audio, then honestly, your pacing becomes even more crucial because you don't wanna go from a bunch of fast cuts to then a really long, drawn out shot because that will bore people very quickly. So make sure you have your pacing down so that way all the other hard work you've already done to make this cinematic sequence doesn't go for nothing. And now, last but not least, tip number five is Wow, you have got to figure out a way to completely wow your viewers. Now, there's a lot of ways you can do this. You can do it with drone footage. You can do it with slow motion. You can really do it with almost anything, but what you wanna look for is something that they weren't expecting. You wanna come out with some type of shot, some type of transition, something that you can add to the video that they're not looking for because that will definitely take your video to the next level. So yeah, those are my uh, five cinematic tips. Now, Six has been kind of chilling in the background, kind of doing something interesting in each shot for absolutely no reason, other than he was the subject of the cinematic sequence you guys saw at the beginning of this video. And that was really just something that I shot very quickly, very simple, simple story. But the whole point of it is just to show you guys, just it doesn't take much to make a cinematic sequence. Just think about your story just a little bit, Add in those tips that I gave you and it should come through without any issues whatsoever. He actually used some of those same exact tips in his video that he's doing on a camera that costs less than a thousand dollars that produces some amazing results. And so if you want to see what camera that is and you want to check out that video, definitely go check out his video on my channel. I have it linked above in one of these corners and at the end of the video. But it doesn't take much to make your footage cinematic. You just got to think about it a little bit get it clean, wow the viewers, and you'll have awesome footage in no time. But that's all I have for you guys today. If you thought this video was helpful, definitely give it a big thumbs up. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.